setting apart Christ as Lord in our hearts. But in your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. One way to define the Christian's uniqueness is to say that he has made Christ the Lord of his heart. When he turned away from his sins, confessed his faith, and was baptized into Christ, the Christian began to follow a new leadership. Whatever may have directed his life before, he now looks to Christ as the deciding factor in every aspect of his character and conduct. This is what Peter had in mind when he said we should set apart Christ as Lord in our hearts. While not as familiar now as it was in the first century, the concept of lordship is critically important. The word Lord means master or one who has authority, but in the case of Jesus Christ, the term is all-encompassing. For the Christian, Christ has all authority. There is nothing about the Christian's life that the will of Christ does not govern. From the innermost thoughts of his heart to the outermost aspects of his behavior, no step is taken unless he is confident that Christ approves. Paul put it this way, Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him, Colossians. And this principle does not just apply to the religious aspect of life or church activities. It applies to everything the Christian does, publicly and privately. Peter said Christ is to be set apart as Lord in your hearts. The Christian fights a losing battle against sin if he has not first given his heart to Jesus Christ. It is only when Christ has been given control of our most private thinking that progress begins to be made. This decision to set apart Christ as Lord is the main ingredient in conversion to Christ. The changes that occur on the outside of our lives are the result of a change on the inside. Our thoughts are now under the rule of Jesus Christ, but living consistently under Christ's Lordship requires growth. We have to learn to yield our hearts completely to His direction. At our baptism, we're just getting started in learning how to let Christ be our Lord. If you desire Christ for a perpetual guest, give Him all the keys of your heart. Let not one cabinet be locked up from Him. Give him the range of every room and the key of every chamber. Amen.